Welcome back to Beta and Switch. Today I'm going to give you guys all the secrets to the recent Outriders gun and lobby hacks. You've all been asking about it and now I'm answering. Psych! Yeah, that's not what's happening. I'm still not a hacker or a person who buys things to cheat. And still stand by what I said, which is the truth. I don't know how I got the guns. Luckily, some of my viewers have helped me come to a conclusion that makes sense. So to those people, I appreciate you. One viewer in particular, Rufio, confirmed earlier today that he in fact had a similar experience to my own. He joined a random expedition lobby, went to mod his gun, and he actually saw when the firepower increased. According to him, the lobby owner was getting crazy damage numbers and believes that the same person hacked the guns that he had equipped. So more than likely, this is what I also encountered. I also have a message I sent the night my guns got hacked to the lobby leader at the time which shows my confusion of why my guns suddenly were overpowered. I legitimately didn't know how this happened to my guns. With that being said, I've concluded that my guns were hacked without my knowledge in a random lobby. After helping some people who were having trouble completing higher level expeditions, I decided to delete these hacked guns. Don't get it twisted. I didn't delete them because of you warriors of the keyboard race. If I saw you all in real life, I would knock everyone out because I am the greatest keyboard warrior and I will take everyone on. It's because I already decided not to use these guns since this playstyle to me is both boring and not how I like to play video games. But this should also show people that I did not buy or have my guns hacked. Deleting them would be like throwing away money that I didn't even have in the first place. Your boy is too broke for that. I'm broke nigga, I'm broke! I'm really hoping People Can Fly is able to sort out all the issues with the game, but the already dying player base, the game is on its last legs. For us Xbox players, the game was free with our Xbox Ultimate subscription. So I definitely plan to ride it out with Outriders while they fix the game. One thing is for sure, they definitely need more content ASAP. If that doesn't happen, then it's over for them. Maybe it's time for us all to start thinking about getting ready for Biomutant instead. Here's hoping Biomutant will have a better start than games like Cyberpunk and Outriders. If you made it this far, you're a real one. With so much negativity in the world, my goal here is just to try and help people whenever I can and spread peace, love, and positivity. Video games brings a lot of us together, so let's make the most of it. As always, thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you next time.
Outrider, there's a storm coming your way. There's a well here, spewing anomaly energy. It's creating the storm. That's what's causing the vibration. At least I know I haven't completely lost my mind.
Zahidi, I found a pod down here guarded by monsters. I've secured it. And plenty of rock samples I'll try to to play with. It. Perfect. Access granted. I can't wait to run the tests. Strange that the monsters are interested in the pods. Perhaps they're drawn to the humming from the electronics inside. <laughs> 